Say Merry Christmas. There we go. All right. Well, here's the little red guitar that you've been seeing me work on. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to be able to make the hole in this and put a paint lid in there. Um, I'm visiting family for Christmas, and I left it intact for how I've done it. Um, and, uh, and let my nephew have at it. He plays violin. I thought that he would uh, enjoy a mandolin and a half-size guitar. He was very underwhelmed regarding the half-size guitar. I have a nut that I can put here and uh, that pan, and we'll see what this sounds like tomorrow. So here's a key of G, of G chord. After I do some work on it, we'll see what it sounds like tomorrow. Ew. Yeah. Okay then. Today I am drilling the hole in the face of the guitar with the assistance of my Let's young do it real nephew. slow, real gentle. We'll speed this initial part up a little bit um, and lower the volume, but uh, we'll get to the point where it starts scoring the face of the guitar. Right about here, you'll notice the upper uh, right clamp starts to loosen and uh, it allows the guitar to move. And that's when the drill bit binds up and suddenly stops. What happened? This back piece came loose. Here's the guitar with the hole in it. And uh, I had to use a really fine toothed saw and by hand, I finished the hole and discovered that even after four practice attempts yesterday in cardboard, I'm still just a little short. I have grabbed some 100 grit sandpaper, wrapped it around a roll of tape to keep the, the roundness and I'm gonna work it like that with my hand a bit until I get a nice good fit. Well here we go. The bridge is in approximately the correct spot. Um, do that so you can hear. My action is still a little high, so the plan is to sand the feet of the bridge a little bit. And a friend of mine gave me some parts and I found a nut that works. May So that's uh, replaced the wooden dowel that uh, I had before. 
that you can see how the action rises. And if I can sand down the feet, I can lower the action. And uh, that's so it can be played like a guitar. Of course, if I wanted to play it like a dobro, I could leave that alone and put some shims under this, raise it up a little bit so that I could use a, uh, a metal bar of some sort. Um, got this part put in. Um, the bridge that I purchased for it really was too tall. You can see, let's see, right there. Really was too tall. And, uh, and so the action on the neck was very high. So I made a little bridge. Have no idea what type of wood that is, but made myself a little bridge. I can't get much lower than that because there's not much of an angle here, but uh, clean it up a bit. You heard what it sounds like before. Um, the only drawback that I'm kind of like, oh man, um, is uh, if I softly really hardly push on the strings here's like a, a B and then a C but if I push down like I normally would on maybe a 12 string or uh, or my mandolin so um, me oh well what can you do sounds like it's really bassy but uh, it's it was an interesting project I have enjoyed it um, I may consider changing the tailpiece so that I can bring the strings down a little lower um, and that will allow me to lower the bridge just a little more I'd like the strings maybe that far off the neck or something um but don't want to get too far anyways i've had fun doing this i've done it in like three different locations um and uh so i don't know it's probably still a work in progress but it's been fun i'll keep you updated if i do anything majorly different to it Next thing I'll do is probably put some actual real strings on it. Yeah, these are uh, salvaged from that 12 string guitar I'll be working on in the future. A really quick side-by-side -side comparison of the sound. 